make an intro because I kind of forgot to make an intro before. This is a sneak peek. So, hey babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you are here. I'm so happy you are here celebrating my birthday with me, even though this is just a get ready with me. And even though you're probably gonna see this in a week or so, just quickly wanted to say that thank you all so much for the birthday wishes on my social media. Thank you guys so much for even clicking this video and of course giving a thumbs up and being subscribed to my channel. That is like the best birthday present ever, okay? So, I definitely had enough caffeine in my body today i am so ready to go and eat i am starving this is why my intro is like here position so i usually do it over there but now i'm here da -da -da. okay anyways if you guys want to know how i completed this look plus did my hair on camera and just follow along on my birthday day then of course just keep on watching peep my roses that carlos got me they're so pretty Okay, babe, so we're going to get started with this beat. I'm so excited. It's my birthday. So it's my first year actually doing like a get ready with me. And look at this. Look who came to join us. I have a big, big pimple, but I'm just going to cover it because I cannot stand that pimple being there during this whole video, especially because I'm not even going to do my base first. I'm going to do my eyes. So that's going to be in the video the whole time. There, I kind of covered it, but yeah. So, I just did my brows off camera because they take me the longest time and I actually don't know what I'm going to wear, but I know that I want to wear, like, a pink shirt. So, like, this is, like, a, what is this called? Velvet material shirt. It's off the shoulders, and I think I'm going to wear this just because I was going to wear a dress, but... Girl, it is snowing outside. It really snowed on my birthday. Okay, so I did this eye off camera just because, once again, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I kind of went ham on it. I kind of, like, ham. I kind of went, like, really, really dark and different. I don't know. I kind of wanted to do a soft clam, but then look what ended up happening, literally. So I quickly want to give a shout-out. Huge shout-out to my boyfriend fiance that actually got me this bouquet of flowers i'm going to show you guys later on because i'm planning to vlog just a tiny bit of my day and then quick shout out again to one of my other best friends vanessa which she got me a duncan and like a donut in the morning and then also shout out my best friends lucia and her man juan which i absolutely love this like they know what i love so I might just grab these right now and start, you know, eating them while I do my makeup. Why not? So I'm going to zoom you guys in just a tiny bit so you guys can see. I did like a half cut crease, but then I added glitter because, you know, glitter is glitter. And I absolutely love glitter. And I just did like a little wing, not even a wing, but just the liner. Starting off, I'm going to be priming my eyelids, of course, with my Tarte Shape Concealer in the shade of Fair. Oh my god. Since I am playing around with the James Charles palette today, that is the only concealer that this palette really, really works and actually picks up the pigment that the palette has. Because I actually tried it with the e.l.f. one and that definitely did not give me as much like pigment and like just like vibrant from the color. So we're going to start off and I'm going to be grabbing the dark purple shade from the Morphe palette, from Jane's palette. And this is the one. And of course, I don't have like the plastic, plastic thing for the names because I lost it. And that's one of the things that I hate about the um, like Morphe. The fact that like it doesn't have the names on the palette or like in the back of the palette. Or it didn't even come with like a thing like Jaclyn Hill. So... We're going to get started and I'm going to be using my Jaclyn Hill times Morphe JH33. I'm pretty sure this is the Morphe 33 brush just that Jaclyn Hill put her name on it. Pretty sure guys. So with this color I am going to be grabbing and stomping it with the whole palette actually. You really want to stomp the first color. Just so we can really get its worth of like pigment. And we're going to stomp this across our lid in a circular 
direction. Um, I was going to do more of a like winged out type of look, but I really wasn't feeling it. I just been loving the whole like circular vibe. this is probably going to look really crazy for like the first like 10 minutes but i'm gonna fix it up so now i'm gonna be grabbing a m433 brush of course and i'm gonna be grabbing the color right here and this is more of like a fuchsia color and i'm going to basically up blend the harsh edge like the purple harsh edge so you guys see that big harsh edge it doesn't look blended so with this color i'm going to grab it and i'm going to slightly blend out the harsh edges and i'm going to start off by doing like circular motions and like stomping it on and then slowly just going back and forth back and forth messed up of course and i meant to grab pick the pink hot pink shade which i'll show you in a second and i grabbed the wrong one but it's fixable it's fixable so i'm just gonna go back in and grab more of the purple shade and just blend this out more into the crease so what i did i just went in with the color like this one at the bottom not this one this one and then i just blended it out same thing just that this one's a little darker Cut my crease and i'm going to be using my tarte shape concealer of course with a flat brush be doing i'm just going to be grabbing a like rag and i'm going to just Take it off. Slash cleaning it. And now this will make like the color, like the light color that I'm going to be using. Kind of like a white color to really pop out and not look as dirty. Oh my god, this chair is so uncomfortable. I need to get a new chair. Literally because my back hurts so bad. So now I'm going to go in back with the concealer and really actually cut the crease. Didn't really take away from that line that really emphasizes like where the crease was or like where to start cutting from the crease. So I'm just going to now officially cut the crease. My crease is really cut and you guys can see it like it's really really white i'm going to be grabbing like just my smudge concealer flawless concealer brush by elf and just blend this out and then grabbing a flat brush which i'm going to be using my morphe m167 very just like flat brush and i'm going to be grabbing the lighter pink in the palette kind of looks like a white but it, it's a pink like a really baby pink and i'm gonna be setting that concealer now make sure you just set it fast enough that it's like your crease isn't going to have creases in it because if not then it's going to like make your half cut crease look very very like wrinkly and you want like a really smooth cut crease which is also one of the reasons why we ended up cleaning cutting it and then cleaning it and then recutting it it's like a lot but it just makes your like work look more smooth and like actually put together i'm not going to blend out that harsh edge because we are going to be applying some glitter to the end so i'm still going to leave like here some purple but then i'm going to put some glitter and then still leave the matte pink shade so i'm going to be grabbing my stila gold godness glitter and i love love these glitters guys like i honestly purchased like about like seven of these just also because of like prawn season and everyone usually loves a gold cut crease so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply some where the harsh edge is but drag it out just a tiny bit
the glitter is dry i'm still going to go in with some liner so i'm going to go in with my nyx matte liquid liner and this is how it looks like and then after that i'm going to apply some black eyeshadow with a very defined little flat brush just to really emphasize it and darken up the liner i'm going to fast forward this because it's actually really really boring I'm going to be using my Essence Volume Stylist Lash Extension Mascara and this is how it looks like. I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on and prep my lashes for falsies. So for falsies, recently I've just been using the ones that I ordered from AliExpress. So the ones that I'm going to be using today are in style D150 and this is how it looks. they look like. They look very wispy, but I didn't want to put something on very too dramatic just because I want, you know, to, my eyes to pop. So I'm going to pop these on. So now I just removed everything under my eye. I haven't moisturized or anything. My pimple is back. So I'm actually going to clean my hands because my hands get super dirty from like doing my makeup with like my eyebrows and stuff like that but as i was saying yeah i actually don't like to go out anywhere too like fancy just because i i don't know i'm actually a very simple person to be honest when it comes to like birthdays or just gifts or anything like literally with you being here and like us eating in the house like i am fine <laughs> like i really don't care honestly so i don't i don't know i really don't feel like doing much especially just because of the dumb weather i feel like every year for my birthday it snows or there's like a blizzard going on or something like last year for my 21st like not on my birthday but like on my birthday party um it like snowed what was that um it snowed like a lot but either way people were still like staying at the party so yeah <laughs> Okay, so now that i'm moisturized and by the way i did end up using like always my garnier um a gel moisture rescue balm this is the no pore blend primer by touch and soul we actually got this in our boxy charm um for this month and i'm actually really interested in trying this out so i'm just going to ooh, grab some Ooh, it feels like very jelly. Oh, wow. Super, super smooth. It made my face feel so smooth. And it kind of like mattified my pores. Wow, okay skin literally looks so smooth like airbrushed i really hope this makes my foundation like look like that too because girl and now i'm going to be applying my foundation and for foundation today i'm going to be using my favorite foundation at the moment which is my makeup revolution foundation how many times did i just say foundation and i'm going to be applying some of my l'oreal infallible 24 hour foundation in the shade 415 on my nose area you guys already know with my nose this doesn't work on my nose area but it works all over my face it's like so dumb um but i'm gonna be using the shade f 8.5 because this is lighter than f7 so their shade um ranges are kind of weird just letting you guys know So for a new beauty blender, I actually have a new one. I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild beauty blender. I call these beauty blenders, but they're really not beauty blenders, but they're beauty, beauty blenders. So I'm going to be using this. It's 
still really hasn't hit me the fact that I am 22 years old. I feel like after I hit 18, I feel like I have a birthday every month. Like, my birthday comes by so, so fast. And, I mean, I know, like, I'm gonna actually color correct my pimple because that, that's a disaster. <laughs> so, as I was saying, yeah, like, I feel like once I hit 18, I feel like my birthdays were just, they come by so fast and just the time keeps flying and it's actually really scary just like for example um i have like five more months until i get married isn't that crazy by the way i look like a ghost i know i know so i have five more months until i get married i am 22 years old today and i literally just can't believe how much things have changed in like the past year like with everything with myself just myself in general i'm such a in a better like mental like mental place if that makes any sense not that i was crazy or anything but i just think about things and people differently now like low-key people show you their true colors within <laughs> what is this um get ready gun <laughs> into like i'm like all over the place but you guys know what i mean like people show you the real colors and it sucks it literally sucks i don't care though because i'm such a strong believer that things happen for a reason because because god has like you know his plan for you so god has his plan for me and my family and carlos and i'm just living in it so now i'm just gonna apply the l'oreal oh my god i got hella baby hairs hella So, fun fact, I actually did my nails today. They are actually press-ons, and they actually look so cute. How many times did I just say actually? Take a shot every time I say actually in that last sentence. But they look super, super cute, and they feel good, too. I actually, I get my nails really, really long. Longer than I should, to be honest. That's why they break off, like, within, like, three days. But I just love long nails. Love them. So now I'm going to go in with my concealer. And I'm going to be using one of my favorite concealers at the moment. Cannot believe that I'm, like, putting down my Makeup Revolution. But I'm going to put, like, a both. A tiny bit of both. So I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution concealer in the shade C2. And this is the one that is like bigger. I think this is more ounces. This is where does it say? 0.45 ounce. And then the regular one is only 0.14. So you guys can see right off the bat. And then I also went in because my camera got my camera died. Oh my god, I forgot to charge it and I'm like suffering now. But I'm going to be applying, or like I already applied my e.l.f. concealer, the camo 16 hour one. I love, love this concealer. Using like always my Wet n Wild Cream Contour Stick in the shade Call Me Maple. just like on the low and i forgot to always mention it but this is my color pop pressed contour co ew why did i say that like that contour and i'm just going to contour up my face and also take off this foundation off my lips because holy crap i look so ugly some like pinkness to the look from my cheeks so i'm going to be using my be Fearless, Be Limitless, Be Limitless Blush. I've been putting this aside lately and I just wanted to bring it back. 
Oh, so pretty. And then for highlight today, I'm going to be using this one that we got from our BoxyCharm by Pretty Vulgar. And it's in the shade Shimmering Swan. But before that, I forgot, but I want to cut my contour. Oh, it's pretty. Oh my god, I didn't even wet my brush. The purple shade really close to my waterline and then just a tiny bit of black and then i'm going to be grabbing the pink shade and blending them out once again i'm going to fast forward this um i cannot find strip by anastasia that's my favorite favorite lipstick and i'm kind of freaking out so i'm just gonna apply this on this is by la colors it's a like my nudist matte i can find I think the other one is in the car, but like I said earlier in this video, it's snowing and I'll get it later. But to be honest, I would just wear this with a very nude lipstick just like this. I did get go in with my liquid, I mean my lip liner in Zippy by Morphe. Just going to do like cut my hair in half or like part it in half. And then do this like little by little. So I did go in with my Tresemme heat protecting. And now I'm going to go in with my wand. And you guys already know I cannot do my hair with like a regular curling iron. So wand is where it's at. Lighting today was definitely playing me. It was kind of orange, so already excuse me for uh, the bad lighting. Haciendo que me 